fun. We are on the second page of our notes. We are going to cover boxes 7, 11, and 15. So just the very left side. And also you can see these words or these letters over here, S-O-H, C-A-H-T-O-A. -A. That is the acronym, sorry. That is the acronym of SOHCAHTOA. So SOHCAHTOA helps us remember what sine, cosine, and tangent are. You're probably wondering what is sine, cosine, and tangent? These are trigonometric functions. Okay, you don't have to remember that word right now. But essentially they are just proportions or ratios of either opposite over hypotenuse, as you can see over here, or adjacent over hypotenuse for this one, or opposite over adjacent. So there's just a name for it, okay? So let's start with the so part of the SOHCAHTOA. So the so part of the SOHCAHTOA is the SOH. So you can see it over here, SOH for SOHCAHTOA. S stands for the S in sign. So that's why it's, um, that's why it's S. The O stands for the opposite. And then the H stands for the hypotenuse. So whenever you forget what sine is, remember that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. And you can remember that because it says SOH in SOHCAHTOA. So S for sine is O for opposite over H for hypotenuse. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, then cosine. Let's take a look at cosine. Cosine is the ka part of SOHCAHTOA. So it's SOHCAHTOA, C-A-H. C stands for the C in cosine. A stands for the A in adjacent. And H stands for, what do you guys think? Just say it. What is the H for? Hypo. Yes, hypotenuse. I know hypotenuse is a really weird word. But yes, C stands for cosine, A stands for adjacent, and H stands for hypotenuse. So if I say cosine, you will know that it is adjacent over hypotenuse. Remember how we were doing those fractions at the end of that Google form? So adjacent over hypotenuse is cosine. And last but not least, we have the TOA part of SOHCAHTOA. So this is the TOA part of SOHCAHTOA. What do you think the, oh wait, no, you guys don't know how to say it yet. The T stands for T in tangent, okay? So T-A-N is tangent. So T stands for tangent. What do you think the O stands for? Opposite. Opposite, exactly. What do you think the A stands for? Adjacent. Adjacent, yes. So if you guys just remember the word SOHCAHTOA, which people just normally write like, this, I'll just write it here. So, ka, toa. If you just remember that word, you will remember what sine is, you will remember what cosine is, and you will remember what tangent is just because you remembered the word soka toa. Okay? And if you ever forget the word soka toa, just think about like a pedicure because you just soak your toes and then you say, ah, I don't know, something like that. Something weird to help you remember what soka toa is. So just remember SOHCAHTOA and also remember that in this class for COVID times, you get to use your notes on tests anyways. So SOHCAHTOA is written there for you. There's no reason you should forget it. But yeah, so that's sine, cosine, and tangent. So yeah, that's it for our notes for this thing. Do you guys have any questions? We're gonna put it to use in the Delta Math after this. So we'll get some examples. But before that, do you have any questions? All righty. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to end recording.